Hey, Gileb Alexandro here and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we are gonna talk about how to create a grass field. So let's get started with creating a ground. Let's make a plane, subdivide it a few times using a fractal parameter to get an interesting displacement effect. Then just repeat these steps a few times to get the detailed object. If you want to use a displacement modifier, it's up to you, it's cool, actually use it. Second thing that we need to do is to create a grass clump. Create one more plane, rotate it, add a few subdivisions, activate proportional editing and try to create something like a grass clump. I'm using here a 3D cursor pivot point mode to rotate the geometry and to bend it using proportional editing. So let's join geometry, duplicate it, join one more time, duplicate it, and so we can get this bigger kind of a clump, if you know what I mean. After that we have to create some variation in the models, because we are dealing here with a nature phenomena with quite a chaotic one like a grass. The particle system. Let's create a particle system. You see the settings on the left, it's pretty basic stuff. Just a uniformly distributed object. The point here is to make it seem random. So activate pick random and join the grass clumps that we've created in a group. I've just turned on the interpolated option in a children rollout to crank up the density. But still we'll do some fractal break up, because we don't want it to be so uniformly spread. And the way to do it is to use a particle texture. For this kind of texture we use a cloud's procedural noise. I strongly encourage you to try the noises and see the results. Let's create a second particle system. Oh, let's actually copy the first one with one distinct feature. We're gonna have the particle texture inverted using the ramp node. Basically, what I'm doing here, I'm swapping the colors. So now we should have a two separate ecosystems, one with the green grass and the other one with the dry grass. Here you can see the result of combining them together. Now we're gonna go ahead and start creating our light sources. Let's make four sun lamps with various sizes and brightness. We'll start with a size of 0.1 to get a sharp highlights and sharp shadows and gradually we'll increase the size to make a shadow softer. When we combine it to get our final lighting, which actually looks nice, really. Uh, the material here is pretty basic. No texture is being used, just a green pure color. Randomize the bit with the object info node, plugged in the hue input of the hue saturation value node and plugged in the hair shader. Hair shader plays an important role in this setup. When we mix a glossy shader and a translucent shader. For the material setup that's it, it's so simple, yes. Here you can see the result without a post-processing, but we need to do one last thing and it's dark magic. Let's make three things to enhance the picture. The glow, the vignette and the color graded. That's all, thanks for watching, Gleb Alexandro here and can't wait to see your grass field.